So they tell you, Scientology. Here's this big thing about Scientology is out again now. Yeah, it, it's no different than Christianity, Catholicism, Judaism, Buddhism. It's another fake ass religion wrapped around some other fake ass psychological bullshit. This time it's a guy named Zenu from some other planet who took everybody's souls from some planet and threw them into volcanoes in Earth. And every time we're born, one of their fate and souls, I guess, gets there. See, I'm not even in Scientology, and I know about this crap. So when you hear these people talking about, well, most of them that get into it, they don't really know about all that stuff. Bullshit. They heard about it. They just, you know, want to be God-fearing again. I don't know. They, God, they just seem to think they have to have a magician in their life. Something to control their life. And some outside power has to save them. They can't seem to take responsibility for their own lives. If you join a freaking cult, you join a cult. That's your fault. If you were dragged into the cult as a child, that's another thing altogether. That's indoctrination, and that's against the fucking law. People that do that should be prosecuted for that crime. Look at that. Scientology. I got these guys here arguing with me about Scientology. They're they're whining about how somebody was uh, in Scientology and then he's uh, he's trying to get out of it, you know. And they're uh, throwing him all kinds of sympathy about how to get out of it. You know, serve him right. What are you doing there anyway, huh? If you're looking for God, the last place you want to look is some fucking cult. What are you crazy? Why would you even do that? Well, he didn't know when he went in. That's what they always tell you. Bullshit. They know. They know that all they have to do is read the book, Dianetics, and read all the other stuff, but read all about Xenu and everything else. Before you get your 140, before they get your 140 bucks from you, they let you know what's going on. <laughs> God, you people. Too funny. <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's a video answer because, you know, I'm a pretty disabled. I've got a lot of things. I'm on medical marijuana, so I'm not taking so many damn opiates, which are about to kill me. And I can't find that good lighter, so I'm big freaking deal. I'll just use this one. Anyway, my point was, if you're going to join some kind of a cult, don't whine about it when you want to get out. And don't, <laughs> you know, don't whine about the one cult and then move on to another what the fuck is that all about? As if they're any different. You know, and people kill me. You know, as if any one Christian is different than the Jewish religion. Or the Muslim religion is different than the, than the Christian religion. They're all the same. They all have monotheism. They all fear their God. They all, they all want to worship their God and do good deeds for Him. And yet the good deeds seem to be pretty evil usually, like... Sacrificing your son, cutting off a piece of your son's penis because it's a covenant with a god or something. Jeez, oh, you people make up all kinds of weird crap to believe in your god. And, and you're saying, I'm delusional because I believe that there might be life out there, real life, I mean, you know, corporeal life with skin and bones and technologically built some kind of ship that got him there, got him here. They succeeded, and it's possibly more than one race because there's been more than one UFO. What do you think, Roswell? What do you think the first thing out of the Army's mouth was, we recovered a disc, and then they had to clean it up? Why do you think that was? You ever think about that? See, I know why that was. And, and y'all, all this other guy's come up and said, where's your proof? Where's your proof? You know, you can show it all day long, they wouldn't believe. Skeptics are going to be skeptics. I don't I don't understand how any atheist in their right mind that knows there there aren't magical beings out there that there couldn't be other corporeal entities like us with brains with ideas building ships and stuff I they 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 tried to they were trying to make fun of me and I looked at it like this I thought wow you guys act delusional. I mean, you guys act like you're actually believing God and you're making fun of me because I think there's, you know, aliens. Excuse me, let me get the phone.
Hello? Uh, he's not in right now. Can I take a message? Or would you like his uh, cell number? Okay. Well, I can give you his cell number. Yeah. Let's see. Oops, let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> you know how these phones are. Okay, here we go. View. It's 503 806 2379. Yes. Welcome. Bye. Okay. So that was a phone call looking for my brother. Uh, I had to give her my cell number. Oh, you heard that too. That number. Forget that number. <laughs> it's my brother's cell. It doesn't matter. We're not crooks or anything. So you want to go ahead and uh, what do you tap it? You go for it. Anyway, my 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 point was. Scientology, Jehovah Witnesses, uh, all those weird occults are really no different than the mainstream. The point I'm making is, if you want to be a delusional God believer, that's your business, but if you get hung up in one of these cults like this, you lose everything just because you believe in God and you think that they're right because they tell you what this God thinks or whatever, serves you right. That only means you haven't got a brain in your fucking head. And I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of hearing about it. You guys whining about it. I can never get myself caught up in something like that. And then you people have so much compassion for these idiots. They don't need compassion. They need tough love. They need to be told, listen, stop with the mythology, okay? Stop the God shit and all of this will go away forever. You'll never have to worry about tithing too much. God, man, I just don't get you people. But that's about it. That's what I got to say. And uh, so we're going to send this off to YouTube and uh, all the geeks that are out here supporting everybody trying to get out of Scientology. You shouldn't have went in in the first place. Later. I'm done now. Gerald Reynolds, in case you didn't know who I was. Portland, Oregon, this is my room. We're off to the races. Ha, 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 ha.